Hello everybody, I'm Elna, aka Creative Mommy of Two. And welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome, in case this is the first time you're watching my channel. As you see by the pretty big box I have here laying on the table, you can see I have an unboxing for you. Today we are doing yet another Diamond Art Club. It is a square, as you can see by the big blue square over here and the blue stripe on the box. Here we have it. Even though the picture is this way. This is Rainbow Flower, flower Power. I almost said Flower Power. <laughs> but no, it is Rainbow Flower Power by Lars Stewart. This one is a whopping 98 by 70 centimeters. This one was part of the uh, four year anniversary sale. If you've been on my channel, I ordered this one right away and I messed up my order. So yeah, I had to reorder it again eventually. So yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> I did need to order a different kit with it though, but Oh well, <laughs> in the end it got to me, so yeah, I am trying to see how I will fit it into the screen. As you see, I got my wide angle, so I at least hope I can get it somewhat into view, but I can promise a thing. So yeah, let's just start, shall we? So I'm going to get it out of the plastic. I'm going to sit better for this, otherwise oh, I fall over my table. So let's have a piece of plastic for my cat to play with over there. She's already looking at it and she is oh, well, over there on that red pillow there is a Luna. Over there. So yeah, <laughs> there might be a Luna jumping from the couch. And this box is like really, really overfilled. As you see, there is a well line over here all the way. It's basically from here all the way till there. So I think that's the part where the drills are. So yeah. I am for sure not going to keep the drills in this box because that will not fit. Ooh, I have a new toolkit today. And do I have a legend somewhere? Let's see. I don't see it here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did it fall out again? Let's see. I don't see it anywhere. I might be having it here. Just double check the box again. Don't see it here. I'll just look in a little bit if I can find it in my canvas. But yeah, here we have a little sticker with the name, the artist, the image, the shape and the size. And I am going to put it directly on the box because I now know where to put it. So I'm just going to directly do that so the cat has something more to play with. I am putting it on what I call the bottom. Just over there and put it over there. So when I stack them like this on top of each other, I still know which box contains which kit. As you see, I have a lovely new toolkit, which is an incredibly good bonus because it comes with extra goodies, even though the old toolkit still has everything you need, and I know from experience because that's still what I need, well, still what I use. Oh, finally! Well, I don't have many, but I see this beautiful cover minder that's now on the floor. I love this one! We hope they would have it in blue, because blue roses are my favorite. But yeah, this you can use 
for example, if this is the paper and your canvas, you put this one on top and this on the bottom. And as you see, it is not going anywhere. So yeah, that is keeping the plastic of your, well, the plastic cover of your diamond painting. It holds it back while you're diamond painting, in case you didn't know that. So yeah, love this one. One cut over there, because yeah, the tripod I'm filming on is also my space for my cover minders. <laughs> yeah, I have this cute little roll of washi tape, which I personally use to divide my plastic cover, well, cl cover plastic. So yeah, I make sections of about 10 by 10, so I don't make too big of a section. So we also have some bags, a little dutchy orange squishy and a pen, so that is just how I use my pen. Well, actually this is, because I just used the grippy, a basic pen and a fork laser. And I also still use the provided pink wax. In the new toolkit, you have it in a little caddy, but come off. It still has the plastic on top, so before you're stabbing your pen into it, do please remind that there's still plastic on there. Because it's a square, we also have some tweezers. And aside from a four placer, we also have a seven placer. And a beautiful, sturdy see-through boat with a heck of a tough stop but her oh dang it yeah got it <laughs> the stopper didn't want to go in so this one is as you see see-through with just a little bit of sparkle so yeah i'm going to test this one out to see how this one works but dang that stopper is tough I fear I will break the boat in a bit. <laughs> but yeah. Put that up to the side for now. And let's get into the good stuff. Because yeah, we're already seven minutes in. So over here, oh, we have a canvas. And as you see, it's still in the dust cover. Well, I took it out of the dust cover. Something more for the cat to play with because I don't use it. So, yeah, I am. Um, there is my legends. One bag, one bag. So, yeah, this I was looking for on, see it, on the uh, outside, but it was on the drills, so. Good that it didn't look everywhere. So, yeah. Beautiful! So, yeah. Here's the image a little bit bigger. So, as you see, a rainbow of flowers. Hence the name Rainbow Flower Power. You can put here your start and end date. It still, ha again, has the shape and size. And here you have the... Well, entire list of used colors, including, let's see, six APs. We'll look at those when we look at the colors. I am going to show you the list of symbols because what is annoying for me might be perfect for you or the other way around. And these few stickers that are left over here in the down. Well, because these are still also stickers, didn't mention, but they are all pre-cut stickers. So you can just label your containers in case you work out of containers. I'm now going to look quickly if there's anything that will annoy the living daylight out of me. I do not see anything now. 
but it might change once I am working on it. It might be that the V here for 601 and the U for 498 can be confusing, but it is a little bit depending on, well, the canvas. Here we have a little a thank you thing. <laughs> and also a little bit of instructions on how to diamond paint. Again, a little something for the cat to play with. These beautiful drills are going somewhere. Whoa, there's a lot of AB. I already see a load. Bang, this bag is heavy. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, I am going to roll it backwards. Because this is port glue and it can have some... Yeah, it can handle some roughness. <laughs> But yeah, it lays a little bit more quickly flat like this, so yeah. And I'm already standing on the wrong side, so moving around a little. And then... <laughs> Scared the living daylight out of my cat. <laughs> In case you didn't see her jump off. Oh, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I get her completely in frame? Wow! <laughs> oh, for sure as hell, this is beautiful. Wow. Wow. All different colors of flowers. Let's see, do I have my favorite? No, we don't. Let's see, let's double, double check. No, we do have a red rose over there somewhere. This one and the yellow one over there. Can my shadow reach it? Yeah, there. <laughs> Even though I have three lights overhead. So yeah, I give multiple sh shadows. So I hope everything will be clear. We have some succulents over here and the green. And yeah, for the rest, I can't make much out of it. I know this one is an orchid, because I have orchids behind me, so yeah. <laughs> but for the rest... Oh, you also have pink rose here. And for the rest, I cannot tell very much in sort of flowers. I think over there on the top right, that's the sunflower. At least I think. There are some that I recognize, but yeah. Recognizing them and naming them are two completely different things. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to show you the rainbow over here. Look at all these amazing colors. Wow. Just wow. It is that I have my current project on hold. Sorry for the noise, by the way. But otherwise, this would be started really soon. But yeah, I have a special project coming so that we'll need to wait for I think at least two months but we'll see here that has the name or in case you're going to store your drills separate which I most likely will do because I for sure are not going to get this one back yeah I'll get them back in a the bag but I don't think I get them back in the box because most of the times the packets of drills will not be as compact as they are now. <laughs> I think they will be more like this. <laughs> so yeah, I am just going to grab a random string of drills and show them. And this way is first. Ooh, nicely bright yellow. Don't know if I have these already. I'm not going to call the numbers, because knowing me, that will be going horribly wrong. Unless 
as are these two, we have the ABs, which are the Aurora Borealis, Little Sales Pitch, Aurora Borealis drills are, as you can see, a little bit more sparkling than the regular drills. The Diamond Art Club uses the numbering system <clears throat> of the, let's see, DMC, that was the word I was looking for. And everything under 150 is an AB and not just a regular like some flushed colors in the actual DMC chart, but yeah, they will be the specials. And as you can see, as I move them around, they will have some extra shine. These ones also shine, but not as much as these. So yeah, I think you can see the difference a bit. So yeah, these are orange Aurora Borealis Northern Lights however you want to call them, specials, beautiful orange drills. Ah, yeah, wh wherever they are charted, your eye will be drawn a little bit more to and yeah, give some extra sparkle and shine and beautifulness. So yeah, let's move on because I'm starting to ramble again because I'm pretty, yeah, <laughs> overwhelmed. Let's call it like that. And here we have another one. This also is an AB. It's a little bit lighter than my camera wants to pick up. But this one is the 120. Here we open. No, it's still pretty dark. Yeah, I am filming in evening light because, yeah. I have two little kids, so yeah. I'm not very much in the possibility to come during it. Here's the next trend. Ooh, I don't think I have these before. They are a red kind of. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they're red. As far as I see, they might pick up a bit more orangey. Just they're a little bit more like red with a hint of orange in them. But they are color 114. And I need to say, they are pretty big bags. We have already five bags of ABs, so. And that's just three of the six colors in, so. Wow. And here we have color number four. Two bags. I already thought three, but. I think this is the original to the AB. So you can see. They shine a bit more. But yeah. 113. A lovely, beautiful pink. Again, two of the bags of ABs. Lots of bags with two. So, yeah. But that's to be expected with a kit this big. <laughs> A little bit of a white background. 3865. Love this color blue. And then we are going to the last one, I think. No, nope, not the last one. <laughs> Still one left. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for the beeping in the background. I hope you can see all the numbers. And here we have another AB. 126. Beautiful lilac. Just a small bag of three dents.
Sorry, I have a little bit more glare than usual, I think. Also a nice and bright yellow. And the last of the ABs, 127. This is like a beige kind of color, I think. So, yeah. Those were all the drills. I am going to try to stuff them back in their bag. Because otherwise I have no place to put them. Be right back. And as I said, I am for sure not able to put them back in the bag as they were. But, oh well, they fit somewhat. As long as the bag can contain the drills, I'm happy. <laughs> so yeah, to look over at the canvas itself. We have the Diamond Art Club. Logo and there's slogan, do what makes you sparkle, on the top, top left, and also a bottom right, we have a legend with all the colors and symbols. So in case you're working on this half, you have this one, and on that half, you have that one. So you have a legend somewhat close by, even though I personally don't use it. But that's personal preferences. We have down here, again, some of the information. Like, again, the name, sorry, I wanted to sit differently, so sorry for my sloth, sloth, flip-flop, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> my lazy footwear. <laughs> again, we have the size down here, and also that is legally licensed from the artist Lars Stewart, and the licensing agency he uses. We have down here the uh, social media information and here we have a little bit about the lifetime warranty. So let's see, can I make it all on the screen? Let's bump it down a bit. Oh, we're there. I can make it somehow work, I think. I am again going to pause you because otherwise my ugly hat is in the view and I don't want that. Because I want to measure this one and it is way too big to not have my head in, the in view. So hold on for just a second. And it is not 69 by 96 and a little bit. So it's one centimeter in one direction and about one and a half centimeter short in the other direction. So I can live with that. It's still big and it's still beautiful and it's still detailed. At least I think so. And yeah, every company does need to have a little bit of wiggle room for, well, this. <laughs> but yeah, I am going to see if I can find all the ABs, which will be pretty tricky, so I'll find the like general area, because otherwise I most likely will still be here next year, <laughs> because it has a lot of ABs, as you saw. So, I'm going to grab my inventory list, because otherwise I can see it, because it's pretty far hanging over. <laughs> So the first one was the pink one, 113, and that is symbol number one. And I hear my daughter yell, so hold on for just a second. Okay, and I'm back. <laughs> Sorry for the few seconds of extra video. But yeah, kids, huh? <laughs> but where were we? Oh yeah, symbol number one. I see it here highlighting the leaves in this flower. There are a few in this. Also, this more like the center of the leaves. Also highlighting the leaves of this one. A little bit in this one. Lots in here. Around the center of this one. Here also in the leaves. A little bit in the center. This one also, again, the leaves. So yeah, I think we can basically say there where the pink area is, there is the 
113, me and numbers. <laughs> Symbol number two was the 114, that was a red one. So I am thinking they will be more on top over there. So uh, let's see. Find them first. Huh. Oh, there they are, this color. There are a lot in this flower, in the leaves over here. Over here. Again, over in this flower. So, yeah, they are sprinkled out. And a fly. <laughs> They're beautiful flowers, but not for you. <laughs> So again, yeah, in the red area, a lot of the red AB is because I am not able to, yeah, I'm not able to point at them all. The 120 is down here in the blue section. I see them here in being this color and this color. So you might have an idea of where they are at. The 126, the lilac is here over here in this purple area. I'm just going to put point at general areas because otherwise, yeah, I can point at every individual flower, leaf, or whatever. Symbol 5, the 127, is a pinkish purple. So let's see, where do we have you? It's always finding them the first time. You also have some of the red in this flower here, from, from, of the blue, sorry. Five, here we are. This darker bluish purple in this flower, that's basically like the aiming color. There aren't that many. I believe I saw them here a few. It's either that or that. No, that can be. That's the symbol S. I need to look for a lighter color. Okay, I'm going to pause you again because otherwise I can. Got it. Was way lighter than I expected. It is this color. So it's more in the lighter pink range. So it will most likely be in the pink flowers. Then we have the 132, the orange AB. The, I believe it was the first one we saw, is symbol A. Going to take you a little bit up. It is this aiming color. So it is the, oh, an orange. Do we have it more that I can point it out more obvious? Yeah, this one. Here we have a bigger patch of it in the, I think, sunflower. So, yeah, I'm not going to get more specific. It is in the orange-yellow area. <laughs> and yeah, that was AB number six. So, yeah, it is beautiful and big and I'm already yeah, I'm already thinking like how the heck am I going to video this for time lapses, but we'll figure it out whenever we get there. So yeah, this was the beautiful rainbow flower power. Let me know down in the comment section what do you think of it? Do you also have it yourself or are you now planning on getting it? I do believe it is at the time of filming out of stock, but you can always get a restock notification. So in case you want it, you can do that or otherwise you can stock the site. <laughs> yeah, I hope you liked this long and rambly video with lots of interruptions, but that's life. And yeah, again, I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!